Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and I hope my voice is coming good and clear. In the previous uh, broadcast we have a problem with the mic. I hope I tried my best to see if we can fix it and we will see. Today our topic is about, you know, Islam again. Uh, but there is something, you know, most of you do not know. When we ask Muslims what is the most attracted, uh, uh, attractive uh, uh, point of Islam, what the Muslim they will say to us? What is the reason for somebody even to think of Islam? The answer is simple. I tell you that the major points that inspire a non-Muslim toward Islam are the five pillars. I'll briefly mention some of the points of the five pillars and then come on to the other five important points besides the five pillars. According to me, the number one point that inspires non-Muslims toward Islam is Tawheed. It is oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, so the oneness of Allah. So what Islam has to offer, well, there is one God, but they don't know who is this God. This God is a stupid, he do not know how he created things. One verse he says something, the opposite he says the opposite. And I mean, okay, we have one God. Well, they also worship Satan, they have one God too. There's a, a million religion in this earth who believe in one God. And so, so you know, the oneness of God, uh, and how this oneness of God, he is oneness, and he keeps saying us, and then he say, when I take a partner from us, which even the idea of oneness of God in Islam does not stand by itself as a religion. When we ask Muslims, when Allah, he decide to take a partner and he say from us, you go and watch the videos and you see how the response of the Muslim, they say, it's funny, it's a stupid, you know, and they say to you in the best scenario, if Allah, if who care if, if or not, you know, what we care for, what kind of God he says, if he is one, if I want to take a partner, I will take it from us. As simple as that, it's simple language. So, uh, when, when a Muhammadan he tried to sell Islam to you, the first thing, and he's right, uh, 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 Muslims, they always focus in the oneness of their God. And they think they are, they have a superior opi uh, like opinion, or let us say religion, because they believe in oneness of God. But uh, the same guy, Zakir Naik, he said that we Muslims and Hindus, we share the same concept of God. And according to Zakir Naik, the Hindus, they believe in one God too. I will search for the video right now. Because we don't like to say things without proofs. The concept of God. Okay. I don't want to make you dizzy in the screen. Let me search for it. We found it actually. The concept of God in Islam. And this is the same Abdul. Remember, the most attractive uh, point for the Abdul or the Abdulism religion is there is one God. Okay, and then we find that the one God is the God of the Hindus too. And Islam and Hindus, they share exactly the same concept of God. Listen carefully. Regarding the concept of God in Islam, it's quote to you Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allahu ahad. Say, He is Allah one and only. Hmm. Allah Hussamad. Okay. Allah, the absolute and eternal. Lam by the way, all the translation is false. As Samad, they don't even know what As Samad means because this is an Aramaic word. And Samad coming from Masmuda, which means a collection of God. You know, when you have like a, a piggy, a coin collection, this is the Samad, Masmuda. So they, those, those Abdul, they do not know even what they are reading. They don't speak Aramaic and they don't know what the word means. And this is why you go to the interpretation of the verse. You will see every scholar give you a different meaning. <laughs> but anyway, continue. He begets not, no is begotten. There's nothing like him. This is a And here, by the way, about he did not begot, he did not, has not begotten. This is very silly to say because uh, when Allah, he says, if I want to take a partner, I will take it from us. So already there's many of him. So if he did not give birth, obviously there's other Allahs, they are giving birth. Otherwise, how there is many of us? 
continue. And then he will say that we have the same exact religion as Hindus. The four line definition of Almighty God given in the glorious Quran. Any person says so and so candidate is God. If that candidate fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. And this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. The same four points. The first. Do you see? Exactly what is mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. So why Islam is a superior? If Hindus and Hindus, they believe there are 30, 35 million gods beside one God, which means there's like a, like a big God and there's little gods, you know. So Zach and Nayak agree that we and, and Hindus, we have the same uh, concept of God. Exactly the same concept of God. He did not say similar. He said exactly. Listen carefully. He did not say similar. Exactly. What is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures, and this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. The same, and this is exactly what is also mentioned in the Hindu scriptures. I don't know how many times I need to repeat it because I know there's many are very slow. So when we ask a Muslim what is making Islam a religion, he says to you, We believe in one God. What a stupid God you have, and let us prove it. When the companions of Muhammad they came out of Quraysh, out of Mecca. And they join under the tribes who later they converted to Islam. You will not believe what the Muslim they practice at that time. Read with me carefully and try not to laugh at this hippie, hippie, tippy, hopeless, topless religion. This is the name of the title. The helpers of in, in Medina, those Al Ansar, they call him Ansar, which means the helpers. So Muhammad he immigrated with his gang from Mecca. When the immigrants reached the Medina, Allah Messenger established the bond fraternity between Abu Abdul Rahman and Sa'd ibn Rabia. Rabia. He said, uh, Sa'd said uh, to Abdul Rahman. I am the richest of all Ansar. So I want to divide my property between us. And I have two eyes. So which of the two you like? Tell me. <laughs> you guys, you read it? Am I making things up? Is that my translation? Is that a Christian website? Is that a Hindu website? This is sunnah.com. This is what? Sunnah.com. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Because we know the garbage, they will say to you, it's weak. They will say, what? It's weak. This is al Bukhari very authentic so imagine this filthy cult they are giving their wives to other muslims and a muslim is asking the other muslim in the front of the eyes of muhammad and actually not only that muhammad after and uh, 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 the reason they did that because muhammad he told them even to inherit each other they are they, they, it's a hippie life so when a guy he die other person inherit him not from his family why? Because they are sharing wives. Nobody knows who is the kids for who. So listen at this. I have, I'm going to divide my property between us. And I have two wives. So see which of two you like and tell me. This is the religion who is attracted, attractive to anyone. I have two wives, look at them, go check, go in the bedroom, hey wives, take off your clothes, go check in the bedroom and see which one you like and tell me. So I that may divorce her, look, that they are, but they are decent, my friend, that just don't take her, I will divorce her. And when she finish her prescribed period, which is called the idda of divorce, then marry her. <laughs> so
So, you know, when we ask, what is the purpose of any religion? What is this? Here you see how much disrespect for women this garbage religion is. Because the woman, she is in the bedroom, she has no idea what the husband is dealing. He's making a deal. And she is the deal. The guy, he married her, obviously he, he bought her. You know, she is a property. And now he decides to give her to someone else. Not only that, he have two, choose one. He don't care which one. He would, look how much love they have to each other. Hey, brother, listen, Ali Dawa. <laughs> this is Ali Dawa. And <laughs> Train Mimi Hijab, his girlfriend. Yeah, brother, I love you really very much. Why oh, you don't go to the bedroom? I have two wives. Take a look. Brother, take a look and see which one you like. And take her. So when those Abdul, they speak about religion, I don't see a religion. I see a garbage, hippie cult. Where is God here? Is that what Muslims look at the women and under the eyes of Muhammad? And then if you continue the story, the guy, he said, okay, okay, what is the, what is the market? <laughs> As if like nothing happened, you know? <laughs> and when I go to the market, uh, to the mall to buy, <laughs> uh... <laughs> And if you read the rest of the story, it's even more funny. <laughs> the swinger cult of Islam. This is why if you go in the Quran, you will see Muhammad is speaking about exchanging wives. If you have my books, Sex and Allah, you will see how those people, they exchange women. Uh, when the wives of Muhammad they cause him trouble after he starts, you know, after they get him busted, sleeping around, which is, and he, he used to do, but he, he did it this time in their bed and things getting out of control. So you will see here in Arabic, and actually even the Islamic translation, he give him an exchange, wives better than you. Why? Because they used to exchange wives. And those, the wives of Muhammad, now under the threat of exchange. So, may Allah, and here you see, by the way, when the Muslims, they say that Allah is God, read the verse and laugh. It is possible that if he divorces you, his Lord will give him an exchange. Uh, in English, it says it is possible. In Arabic, it says Asa Rabbuhu. Maybe, not it's possible. You change the translator. Let us find another idiot. Huh? See? It may be. Here he said, it may happen. You know? It may happen. You, do Allah knows the future or you do not know the future? It may happen that Allah will divorce him. Who is the one in charge of divorce? Allah or Muhammad? Have you ever heard of a God? He is the one who divorced your wife? She is married to Allah or married to, to, to Muhammad? Here you will see that Muhammad is using his God as a threat because he became God on earth. Anytime somebody bother him, he make a verse. He say, Allah told me that. And obviously, it is him making a threat to get rid of them if they don't behave with him. Not, be, not because he is not the one who is behaving, but he wants the women to behave. So this is a super stupid cult. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us, even though I'm not planning to stay for long, but I can open my sky for some time. Do we have any Muslim here? <coughs> do we have any Mohammedan? All right, maybe we have somebody. Let us see. We will open a sky for a for a uh, little time. <coughs> text me first, please, because you cannot call me directly. You have to text me unless you you know you did uh, text me before I answer you. Then you will be able to to call. 
All right, we are opening Skype. Okay, Skype take a little bit of time to update if there is any. Um, okay, we have we have a Muslim. I don't know. This is today. It looked like today. I don't know. <coughs> I will mute the speaker so you don't hear anything from the uh, ringing and knowing your ringing of a Skype and tell the guy answer. The answer, Abdul. I'm calling you. He is not answering it. Okay, obviously this guy, he don't wanna... he's just a kid. If there's any Muslim would like to call us, Uh, yeah, we have, but this is an old uh, text. I don't know if he's online. Let's try to call him. Don't waste my time, Muslims. If you like to talk, be serious, be adult. Let us see if this guy will answer. Turn off your camera. Yeah, I saw Hello? your text message. I saw your text message and we are live on air. Do you like to talk? No, I can't talk this time. Okay, no problem. All right. Do we have any Muslim? It is January 6, 2022, and Muslims don't dare to say anything. They are brave only to debate people who do not know anything about their cult. Here, it is shish kebab time. Do we have any brave? All your potatoes, they disappear. We say, who is a Muslim weak? You know, as you see, I am the one who called them. If you have a sheikh, he is willing to take my call. He is brave enough. Give me his Skype. I will call him immediately. Now, that include even kids like uh, Uthman. He called himself a sheikh, but this guy, he is a bully. He is not a sheikh. He is a potato. But even that, we will take him for, 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 a, for a snack. Do you have any brave Abdul? He dare to speak to me. My Skype is open. If there's any brave Abdul with beard, without beard, shake, not shake, dare to let me call him. I will call you, my friend. I'm very humble. Or what you need to do, just text me. Do we have any Abdul? No Abdul. 